it really hit me just now. We just saw, we meaning everybody except for me, just saw the first dolphin. So it's a little unfortunate. Merry Christmas! Last night there was a boat that sunk here. Hi, we're Jen, Elliot, and Ollie. In 2019, we left the United States and backpacked through 11 countries, all before deciding to come back home and try something completely new, pivoting into boat life. Our current adventure is America's Great Loop, a 6,000 mile journey through small towns, big cities, and the wilderness from the eastern portion of the United States, through the Great Lakes and Canada, and down the Midwest rivers, all aboard our home on the water, Pivot. Make sure you subscribe as we share our journey through the highs, lows, and everything in between. See the alligators? So peaceful this morning. One of our buddy boats left this morning, so we were down to three. We were gonna be spending Christmas together. Yeah, I heard them uh, on the radio. This morning, I looked out the window and I'm like, "There's no boat there." accomplished. Good morning from Briar Creek in the Mobile Delta. We are just north of Mobile Bay, Alabama. It is the calm before the storm. There is a winter storm coming tomorrow blowing 40 knots. and dropping the temperature down almost 40 degrees Fahrenheit. It's kind of insane. So we have a short cruise and then we're done with the Midwest Rivers officially. Yes. And our buddy boats are getting ready to leave. So let's go ahead and pull up the anchor and start the day. Yeah. I'm ready. Ollie. This is too far. I have to get the camera to show you. This is hilarious. This is where Ollie is. We are cruising from the inside today, so we're not cruising up there. We might dock and undock there, but uh, she's funny. Ollie's upstairs. <laughs> Classic. All right, I'm ready. <laughs> uh, that's how you know we're in the swamp. And just like that, we are off. I just want to say thank you to Bruce and Leanne from New Bearing for helping us and just being great buddy boat partners and helping take Ollie out in the mornings. It's been really, really nice. So thank you. Just like that, we are leaving this really cute little Mobile Tinsaw River cutoff, like inlet, and joining the Mobile River again, heading to Mobile. We'll see how much current we get. Uh, we had noticed the current did increase last night, which was very strange. Like this, more like last night, uh, the boats were all pointed in different directions, uh, and there wasn't a lot of forces on the boat. But this morning, everybody was pointed in a line, 
and there was noticeable current. I mean, not like we had on the Tim Tom earlier, but still noticeable. Let's see, we already gained two knots, basically. That's still strong. <laughs> two knots, that's great. We are going 1100 RPM and almost going six knots. This is... Do not, Just do not take this route. Okay. It's just very confusing because there were three kind of branches of the river at that point. One going that way, one going that way, one going that way. And I knew it wasn't that way, but there's so much debris over here that it, to me, just from my eyes, it looked like this was not the right path. Like this is just where things go and collect. But this is the correct path. It's kind of super weird. Just to give a little bit of context to why this kind of mistake could happen to anyone and it can happen quite frequently, specifically in this area. Now this is a river delta and so what that means is that there's all these basically like fingers. I kind of think of it almost like a lung and like blood vessels and just how like they kind of like branch out like roots of a tree or something like that. And that's kind of what these waterways do in this area and so like looking at it from a big picture perspective, you can see that there are tons and tons of rivers and creeks and small little waterways that interconnect and interwind in this area. Now, of course, we're following the channel. And there's very little markers, too. There's very little markers. The majority of the markers on the Ten Tom are at the bottom of a barge. Are at the bottom <laughs> of a barge. And that's not a joke. That's like, that's, that is true. And um, so it's very, it, it, it can be challenging to follow the markers. But you can see here, this is where we made the mistake. But all of these are small little waterways, just like these are too. And more little waterways, and more waterways, and more waterways. It's kind of intense. And there's a lot more that's not even on here. But it just shows that this area is really dense with lots of different ways that you can go. And I'm sure in a small little John boat that, you know, they could probably take these routes super easily. But with our depth, not so much. And that's why we're staying in the channel. Wow. Whoa. We made it to Mobile. Oh my gosh. It's off in the distance. We're almost there. By boat. <laughs> the Mobile Convention Center Free Dock. And they have this free dock that's right on um, like this main waterway here. And it is free for 12 hours. Or to go and explore downtown Mobile, you can do that for free. Overnight is $50 flat rate. There's no amenities. Um, we decided to kind of pass it by because this area has a lot of barge and tug traffic giving it a pretty decent wake. And we think that the boats would kind of be rocking and rolling on the wall quite a bit. Another looper boat who has passed us said that they had a boat in their group that their line snapped on the wall. I mean, granted, that, that could be the lines, that could not be, there's lots of different things.
open water dead ahead. We haven't seen open water with no land on the other side since the Great Lakes. I am very excited. Uh, it really hit me just now. I thought when we would see the big buildings in Mobile, it hit me. No. We've, like, we've, we've made it. Hey! So what we're looking at is <clears throat> Mobile Bay. So this is all of Mobile Bay right here. And then outside of Mobile Bay, that's the, the inlet outlet to the Gulf of Mexico here. But this is still a very large body of open water. And it's very shallow, very shallow. We just saw, we meaning everybody except for me, just saw the first dolphin. <laughs> now Ollie is going crazy because we said the word dolphin and she knows that what that means is that basically it's, I get into a high pitched voice, she gets very excited and looks for the dolphins. But man, what a welcome into salt water again. Oh my gosh, that is my favorite part of cruising in salt water is the dolphins. It's fabulous. Like it is so stinking cool to cruise with dolphins. It is amazing. I really hope that we see another one because ah, uh, that is like the biggest like welcome, like welcome hug, welcome home, welcome back to the dolphins. If you're wondering why Ollie doesn't have her life jacket on, that's because we need to wash it from her little escapade a few days ago. You rolled around in sh**. What the heck were you thinking? Ago. So, she's under a close watch. We're pr primarily keeping her inside uh, while we cruise. She's not allowed to peruse, but since I'm out here, she's allowed to be out here. Salt water! Salt water! <laughs> Whoa! We look at the weather like a week out, but we really only take it seriously like one or two days out. Um, but we were we did see that tonight and tomorrow there's these really strong winds coming in, and so we had planned we we saw that on the forecast almost a week ago, and we've been watching that weather system as we've been planning our mobile kind of like approach. That was a huge driving factor to get down here super quickly um, and get to a marina so that way we could have shore power, one, and two, heat. Because it is Christmas, um, so we do want to spend the holiday warm in heat, um, but two, just to be able to have like a, 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 a comfortable place to wait out that kind of weather. So that is how we're kind of like looking at the weather and that also affected how we plan to get into Mobile Bay because we knew Mobile Bay is a big body of water and it's really shallow. So we knew that we wanted it to be very calm um, because my anxiety. 
so we planned that. We planned for it to be really calm, which was great. The wind is from the north today, so it's really calm, like in this like more entrance area um, as we are entering into Mobile Bay, which is awesome. All good things. All good things. Thanks, Captain. We're turning off Mobile Bay into the Dog River Channel. And it is about half a foot under low tide right now. So we're gonna be going nice and slow. The, the, the shallowest area was 5.9 feet charted. I mean, our buddy boat's five feet. So that's very, 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 very close. So we are gonna lead the way and check depths. Charted so far. I'm seeing about 10 feet where I am now. Maybe 10.5. of how fast we're going. We're at a thousand RPM and we're going four knots, uh, 3.8 knots. So we're going pretty slow and that's very intentional. So if we do hit ground, you don't hit it hard and fast. Yes, the idea is you can just right back right off of it. Yeah, you can just reverse, reverse. Made it through the- The toughest part. Most shallow Woo section. And since we made it, our buddy boat should make it too. Still waiting on Salty Lady, but the bearings is looking good. Yeah. Well, mission accomplished. We are at the marina for Christmas. Unfortunately, the pump out's not working and our tanks are full. So it's a little unfortunate. Actually, yeah. only our aft tank is full. Our forward tank is not full. So we, they have showers and bathrooms here. So no problem. And it'll just be 15 degrees. So we have to go to the bathroom. Outside. 15 degrees. Yeah. But it's all good. Now we are gonna be basically cleaning the boat prepping the boat while it's not 15 degrees because <laughs> we haven't cleaned pivot in months since the rendezvous. Yeah, so we have a very yes. long list. Yeah, and we'll be getting, getting it done one thing at a time. Unfortunately, we're back in no CM territory. Yeah, we're getting <gasps> dun, dun, dun. eaten alive. Uh, oh my gosh. No word. 
we'll be able to revisit our no seams uh, <laughs> product uh, test that we did back in South Carolina. We did it literally as we were leaving Charleston. Today might just be the day that we test out what works for no seams. And then we had no more no seams. <laughs> and we're like, we'll see what works. And they just stopped. But now we're back. Yay! Yay! I am pleased to announce that the grout looks 10,000 times better than what it did when I started. In our galley, the thing that I probably dislike the most is that we have these small little tiles and just stuff gets in the grout all the time. It's usually coffee grinds or something like that and so that really stains it. And now it's back to that like kind of off-white tan color and it looks so much better. I just like Googled um, how to clean your grout and the first thing that came up with like this homemade mixture of baking soda Hydrogen peroxide and dish soap had all three of those so I tried it and it worked really really well now I'm deep cleaning the galley Primarily just getting rid of a lot of the oil splatter from our potato latkes this week and uh, Cleaning out our oven which also needs a deep clean The last time we cleaned this boat was the beginning of October. It's now almost the end of December. It has been a while and we spent many nights on anchor. We didn't clean it in Chattanooga because they didn't have water at the dock, so it's an opportunity to. But she's looking good. Not perfect, but good. Better. Good job, babe. It smells really good in here. Thanks. We need to do some laundry. Wrap up the shindig, finish vacuuming. Yeah. Sun has just set and we've been invited for some celebratory cocktails at our loop boat ahead of us, Salty Lady, our buddy boat. And um, we're just happy that we're here on a dock, plugged into power, finished with the rivers. <sighs> <sighs> it's not like I'm glad the rivers are over i just feel accomplished and i feel like our goals of completing the loop are one step closer heck yeah that was a fantastic sundowners we all cheers to being done with the rivers and this marina is just offering us more and more <laughs> kind of go it's kind of going underwater we are back in the land of fixed docks and tides baby that's good their wires are completely submerged in the water. Morning. Oh, who is that? Who are we going to go see? Who are we going to go see? She's off. She hears the call of Carol. The whistle. The whistle. Family joined us for Christmas. Never a dull moment. 
For Christmas this year, we have my mom and Luke visiting us. <laughs> and it is Christmas Eve tonight, and we have made a charcuterie board. Whoa, this is all Carol, Luke, Jennifer. I, I can't take any. I'm just carrying it. <laughs> yeah, we're going over to New Merry Bearings. Christmas. Merry Christmas. We're going over to Merry our buddy Christmas. boats. Yes. Yes. Hold on, let me just get quick. Oh. It's okay, it's not cold at all. All right, thank you. Christmas Eve dinner, we're having a vegetable and lentil pot pie. Looks good. With the help of Chef Carol. Delicious, babe. Our oven on the boat does not cook evenly, so the tops of the pot pie are all darker than the rest. It is what it is. We're pivoting. Okay. Look at that, babe. Looks pretty good. <laughs> Flour and all of this. Okay. And nuts. Let's go. On. Christmas delivery. <laughs> Christmas delivery. Times and places. Right. Third. What is this? It looks amazing. It's butternut squash gratin. Ollie, did you clean up the floor? Happy holidays from our family to yours. This video probably will not be coming out near any holiday. It is just nice to be around family and take some time to slow down. Sun's out today, it's getting up to about 40 degrees. We have eight other people coming to our Christmas potluck on the loop. And we're gonna be doing it right out here, kind of where we did Christmas Eve last night. Looking forward to it. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! There was a boat that sunk here at the marina, right on the docks, a few boats behind us. And uh, at the moment we can smell diesel fuel. There's oil, like an, an oil sheen throughout the water, so it's not good. So the marina owner has called Towboat US to try and figure out the boat situation and like get it out of here, I guess. I don't know. Crazy. 
It's always kind of unnerving to see a sunken boat because you know that it can happen to anyone. I mean, there's things that everyone can do to prevent it, but whew, scary. All the dishes that everyone brought were really good. We got it, feedback from two of the other loopers that it was their time. favorite Christmas they've had since they were kids. Yeah. So that was awesome. I mean, we didn't do it. We just all came together to do it. And we're really happy at Carol that came. Yeah. Um, my mom and Luke left this morning pretty early so that way they could get a good start on their drive home before and get home before dark. We know this video is coming out way later than Christmas of 2022, um, but we hope that your holiday season was excellent, filled with all of the friends, family, um, good food, wonderful tradition, and everything else for this holiday season. Everything that you want. We are going to be leaving Mobile Bay and into the Gulf, possibly getting into Florida. So it'll be new cruising for us. So make sure you're subscribed to see that. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Oh. Hey. I hope you didn't poop in our dinghy.